Hey everybody, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok with Dude Long Couch. We have just located Tyr, who is not exactly what we were expecting. But that's the great thing about this game, it keeps us on our toes. And we're about to make our escape with him, so let's do this. I think I'm going to play this game for about 11 hours today, if I can. <laughs> Oh, look, and we got a lore entry. You know what? I was actually meaning to come in here and look for this. Um, so let's read this. Of the myths and legends Mimir has unfolded to us, none have so inspired Atreus as the life of Tyr. Once the god of war in these lands, he dedicated himself to peace, a hero not only to mortals of Midgard, but to those of the far-off lands of other pantheons, to which he traveled in the name of diplomacy. Even the Jotnar revere him. It is believed his aid is what made the giants disappear, escaping Odin's wrath, at least for a time. So does that mean that they're still alive somewhere? Hmm. It says at least for a time, so maybe maybe not anymore. Um, anyways, I'm not certain he will prove as useful to us as Atreus hoped, either as a leader or as a source of information. Though perhaps with patience, he will recover himself. Most importantly, he seeks neither war nor revenge for the suffering visited upon him. In this, I am grateful. Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Yeah, so... I know that at the end of the first game... We've actually made it to Jotunheim, and we hey, saw... Here. This is the place we use your Unity Stone to reach where you hit the Jotunheim Tower. Oh, yes. So much trouble I went to trying to protect the giants. Did it work? I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to figure out, too. There's so many bits of Norse mythology, and, and you know, and, like, the real world and in this game that um, I'm just, like... I have a little bit of knowledge of, but I'm not super clear on. At the end of the first game, we reached Jotunheim and we saw all the dead giants. But I don't know if that was all of them. Like, are, like, are they extinct? Or did some get away and are hiding somewhere? Does Tyr know that? I mean, maybe we're not supposed to know the answers to these questions yet. Maybe that's what we'll answer by the end of this game. A treehouse. Lord Tyr. You're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Why did... Wow, Atreus, like... Decided for us that we're not going in right away. I mean, I wasn't planning on it. But it's just curious that he actually did that. I want to check in on our little buddy over here. Our little mushroom pal. I think the best suggestion I got for his name was uh, Shroomy. Or Shroomate <laughs> by Dale. Good good one, Dale. I like that. Because, you know, he's kind of like the roommate for Father, Sindri. You coming? But he's a shroom, so he's Shroomy. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Got a little gate over here. Can't get past that. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot else going on. These dudes are still chilling down here. We still got that guy. Really want to know his story. Maybe eventually. Okay. Wait, what's on this side? Whole lot of nothing. Got it. So, can we talk? About what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Confer privately with Mimir. Still, hold still. Yep. <clears throat> oh, what was that much about? Much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, dear. I'm going to turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr, sounds like promises were made. 
Let's see about getting this settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any going on. And I'll arrange accommodation. Uh, in a second, Brock. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Do you have a broom closet? Yes, but it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. <laughs> to be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hard tack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I with a pinch of salt. Well, I'll see what I can find. Sindri's so nice, man. <sighs> Look at that hospitality. Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, regarding Tyr's stature. They must be in the pantry. I'll just look quietly. I was kind of wondering. Well, I was kind of hoping that that journal entry would tell us, like, what tier is, because I'm not 100% sure. Um, is he, like, full Aesir? Or is he, like, part Aesir, part giant? Or something else? Having a clue. It's probably one of those things that, uh, Maybe we're not supposed to fully know yet, or maybe we do, and I just don't know. All right, Brock. What you got for me, buddy? I can forge some new stuff for you. What'll it be? Well, uh, we can't upgrade the axe. We've got Howard's Lucky Knob. Sounds dirty. That's uh, strength and luck. Moderate luck chance for any successful precision throw to cause a bonus stun blast. Yeah, don't really want that. And we can't upgrade this because we don't have stone wood, unfortunately. Um, how about the blades? No. No. Oh, this would be a decent upgrade. Doubles the strength, but um, I haven't really had a chance to test this one out, which I want to do. That projectile deflection sounds really cool, if I'm being honest. Oh, look, we can upgrade the Dauntless Shield now. I should probably do that. That's a really nice defense buff and cooldown buff. And we're not going to be able to do this one yet. So, yeah, let's do this. I'll put some herd on them. Next one needs honed metal. All right. Need something special? Well, we've got one artifact to sell for 400. I don't think we're going to get a bonus for that, but whatever. Is that? Oh. Uh. Thanks for bringing this. At least here, the Ain Her Yar can't touch it. Ain Her Yar, I've been saying that so wrong. <laughs> oh well. Ugh, God, I wish I could just buy some forged iron. I'm not really seeing a ton of new stuff here. At least nothing I give a crap about. I don't know what he was talking about. Combo finishers do increase damage. So this is like, this is a really good defensive uh, piece of armor, but it's not as good as what I'm currently wearing. So why would I care? So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical. <laughs> I guess. Is that it? I confess myself disappointed, Brock. Oh, well. I think we're still, like, mad early in this game, even though it feels like I've been playing for a while already. I feel like we've just scratched the surface, really.
Does Mimir need to sleep? What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so restless. I care only for his safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. Expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! <laughs> Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just. Wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, mm. I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? Wait, whoa, oh, okay. How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, <laughs> you know where Frey is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look. Let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Wow, I'm controlling Atreus. And I guess Sindri's my buddy? Like my gameplay buddy? Wow, we're actually gonna leave without Kratos. This is crazy, guys. How's this gonna work? Oh, I'm so excited. You brought your key of Yggdrasil. You seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing <laughs> by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. <laughs> I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Of course, that's what Sentry cares about. He was a clean wolf. <laughs> By the way, for the record, I agree that this is a terrible idea. I don't know what Atreus thinks that we need Freya for. And I don't think she'll actually try to kill Atreus. Like Kratos, yeah, she'll kill him outright. Without thinking twice. A trace is probably fine, but like, what's what's the objective here? What's he thinking? Okay, caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the Oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Ormengander's nearby. I know what I smelled. Okay, well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. Dude, oh, this is cool. You know, I was wondering why Atreus' upgrade tree was so barren. I mean, I figured we unlock more later. But I didn't know it was going to be like this. Hold on, let's see what it looks like now. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. Yes. Yes, please. So... 
Um, instinct. This is, this is the instinct tree. I guess this is... So there's different kinds on here. This is for, this is for when we're controlling Kratos. This is for when we're controlling Atreus. Sonic explosions caused by Atreus have an increased area of effect. Okay, and then these we can't buy until we get the preceding skills, obviously. Um, while evading, hold L forward and press R1 to perform a shield strike during dealing high stun. So he does have melee attacks too. Okay. Oh man, I don't know. Should I start buying those? Or should I finish out this tree first? Because this looks dope. <laughs> Grapple towards an enemy and strike them with force. Apply status damage with the currently equipped runic arrow. Yeah, I kind of want that. I don't know. Well, let's see how we feel. Oh, and there was something else on here. Bow ability? So this is like our bow runic attack, I guess. Fires a powerful single shot of several arrows at once that collide with heavy impact. Neat. Oh god, we could upgrade this too. But that would be most of our XP. I think we should probably hold off on that for the time being. Cool. This is cool. This is kind of thing where, like, you kind of figured it would happen. You figured you'd probably get to play as a trace at some point in this game. Because it's just natural, nice. right? It's logical. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so easy, huh? Shut up. Ah. Kratos makes it look so easy. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, like, super surprised about this, but it's just so cool. To finally see it happen, you know? Cool, and I well, just automatically collect it too. What did that say? Some metals react to sonic vibrations. L2 and R2 for sonic arrows. So what is R1? So this is the R1 shot. This is R2. That's sonic, obviously. I guess R1's just like regular magic shots. And then this is L1. That's going to be my runic attacks. And then these are my melee attacks. <laughs> oh, this is this is so cool. Okay. So, what's been going on? Yeah, and then they consume the meter and they recharge over time. Got it. So, father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Oh no, how am I going to get past this stuff? Oh, lift's broken. I'll fix it later. Not without Kratos, you won't. <laughs> this stuff's in the way, man. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. <laughs> and I lost control. Bray knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's venomous? Oh, don't be so worried. Normagondra's cool. We've been inside him. Not like that, you sickos. Get your minds out of the gutter. Remember, he swallowed us up in the first game. We, we were like rowing inside of his gut. <laughs> and besides, I already know he's my son. Or offspring, or whatever the proper term is. I don't know. Like, from the future. We're, we're dealing with some Terminator shit here. 
Okay, so unlimited regular arrows while the sonic arrows recharge. Right. I mean, they don't look regular to me. They look magical. I guess that is regular for Atreus. Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yeah, so it has to be sonic arrows for these. Jaffa. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. It does feel really good. I mean, this, this game feels good. <laughs> In general. The movement feels good. Way better than the first game. It probably doesn't really look that different, but it just feels smoother when you actually play it. We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarfy. <sighs> Don't get up. Uh-oh. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? Oh, yeah, he's implying that he would be able to lift this if he actually felt like touching it, but he won't touch it because it's dirty. Yeah, okay, Sindri. I will say, I didn't expect to have Sindri as a companion. Like, I wonder... I mean, eventually we're going to get into a fight, right? And is he actually going to help us out? Or what? Like, what's he going to do? It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Mayhaps. How would I get a different angle to the other side of that place, though? Aha. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment. And, well... He got it. Wow, great story. <laughs> yeah, he's no Mimir, but he tries. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. <laughs> you act like I had any control over it. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing. <sighs> yeah, do it. Oh, I really don't do a lot of damage with the arrows anyway. Okay. So wait, can I? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to parry, obviously. Oh, I didn't realize I had to manually aim that. I thought it would just track via the lock-on. Oops. Every time they take away my block slash parry, there's like a big adjustment period. Uh, okay, right. I'll just take this, you dirty pile of rocks. Uh, don't touch me. <laughs> what wow, is he throwing? Harsh words. You want my help or not? Alright, alright. <laughs> oh, he's got like little explosive pots or something. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, what can I do? That was cool though. Well, it didn't kill him, but it was still cool. Okay, let's try this again. It's not bad. How dare you. Man, this feels so different. This is kind of crazy. Whoa. That killed him. All right. Oh, that hurt. Oh, 
I'm surprised that we do that much melee damage. Nice. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. A <laughs> uh, little smart ass. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Um, I, I felt like I was going to be primarily using my projectile attacks. And it turns out they don't do a ton of damage. So you are still relying on oh, melee primarily. It seems. Which is fine. I'm not like mad about it or anything. Scalpha. I want to know what these little glowy things are. I think we've seen that in a couple places. Hmm. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Ooh. Depends. Is your father all the muscle? Oh, serve returned. If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <laughs> That's some quality banter right there. There. Let's get going. Alright, uh, before we do that, how much XP did I get? Not really a ton. Like, barely any. We still need 2,000 to get this, and then another 500 for this. Alright, well, we'll keep saving up. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently <laughs> scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. That's not really what happened. He didn't eat us, okay? It was a consensual inner consumption thing. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. Wow. How did Atreus know how to do that? That's 
all you're gonna say? Well, don't let us keep you up or anything. Good talk. <laughs> Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. So that's it, huh? Yep. Want a closer look? No. I mean, I do. That's really dope. <laughs> oh, I hate when I wait too long and it doesn't bring me to the thing. Uh... And then I can never find what I'm looking for. Has to be under BC area, right? Oh, for Jesus Christ's sakes. These are all like enemies. Where do we get the friends menu? Where does that come in? That's what I keep having trouble finding. Lore? Friends and. F okay, finally. We haven't seen Jormungandr since Fimblewinter began. I was beginning to think he'd left the Lake of Nine somehow. But Sindri's nose was right. The world servant woke up when I called, but when I asked him about Loki and what I should do, all he had to say was Njarnvior. Yarnvitor? <laughs> Not helpful. No idea what Ironwood means, but it was still nice to see him again. That's kind of funny, actually, because we know that he's Loki's son, right? And they almost had like a father-son talk there without knowing it. Like, well, Jormungandr would know that if Atreus is Loki, if he knows that Atreus is Loki, then he knows that Atreus is his dad. I don't know if he knows that. But it was almost like he gave us a flippant answer, and then Atreus was pissed off, like, oh, yep, yeah, thanks for nothing. Way, but I know another path. This way. Yeah, just looking around. Frozen lightning. That just doesn't seem possible. Like, how does that happen? Somebody explain that to me. Door's frozen. Maybe I can. This actually works. Would you just let me do it? <laughs> yeah, kind of what I thought. So, what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Whoa. You don't often hear Sindri use that language. Cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. <laughs> right. Look, Alder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Dude, that's true. I actually forgot about that. I could definitely see her harboring a hatred for Sindri as well. Just for providing the arrows that broke the curse on Balder. Almost looks like a face with an eyeball. I don't trust any of these standing things. I never have. And that missed everybody. Sweet. Try. I was close. Ow. Damn 
damn it. So if I get killed as Atreus, do you think Sindri has a resurrection stone that he would use on me? <laughs> I mean, he sells them. He should have a whole bunch of them, shouldn't he? Actually, not sure where we are anymore. I'm just gonna follow the path. <laughs> oh dear. Mm -hmm. What's he worried about? Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vesla, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. I was half expecting that to be a QTE. My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay in here. Suit yourself. Well, then I'm gonna break all your stuff. <laughs> At least the stuff that is breakable. <laughs> New skills. Yeah, but not the ones I want. Ugh, we get XP so slowly. I'm saving up for this, though. This just looks too cool to not have. Yeah, so when Sindri dropped down from there, I was half expecting that to be a QTE. And I was thinking to myself, like, should I just miss it on purpose? Would that be hilarious? Would that be the funniest thing I could possibly do? But then it wasn't a QT, and then I was sad. Oh, bye, Sindri. Just leave me on my own. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. A young man. Alone in the wilderness. No clue where I am. Struggling to find my way. Oh, and by the way, the son of the god of war, who you are terrified of. You didn't think about that, did you? You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I lied it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. 